Graham, for 20 minutes there, did you allow yourself to, to dream a little bit? Yes. Yeah, I was dreaming too all. Um, we give ourselves a mountain to climb, first half, um, or the first 10, 15 minutes. I don't think you can start again with football like that, against that quality opposition. Um, they hit us, they hit us hard, they were clinical, and we learned quickly what, uh, what the Premiership was all about in the first 10, 15 minutes. I think after that we, we, we settled a little bit, we changed shape, and we got a little bit of a foothold in the game. So uh, I think the timing of our goal was very, very important as well. Going in at 2-0 down, it would have been a difficult team talk. But uh, at 2-1, we've given ourselves a little, little glimmer, a little chance. We had a few words at half-time. We made one or two little changes, one or two tweaks. And I thought the lads took on board everything we said. We reminded them, obviously, that they'd come from 2-0 down on Boxing Day. Do it once, you can do it again. Yes, I know there's a goal from class in the two teams, Forest Green, Boxing Day and Man United today. But um, that belief and that strength of character and that resilience that our dressing room have uh, was there in abundance. It was there for all to see. So it could have been easy for them to subside at 2-0 after 13 minutes, but in the end, the opposite was, was true, really. Yeah, look, uh, the, the group represent me. Um, I would never wave a white flag and, and that group don't either and uh, they represent me every time they go out on the pitch and I'm, that's why I'm immensely proud of them uh, and it didn't take a fourth round cup tie against Man United to come in from 2-0 down to, 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 to peg them back to 2 all. it doesn't take that for me to be immensely proud of them I, I, I love working with this group um, I've said it since the day I walked through the front door I'll say it this week, I'll say it next week they're a brilliant group of lads they're a great, great group of lads um, it's just unfortunate that we just couldn't reach our cup final, which would have been a replay, a 2 all draw, and go back to Old Trafford. And that would have been our cup final, and that's probably the aim we had. Um, I think when we see the cup draw uh, and before the game, I think we all made a little pact to go on and let's try and get a draw. Let's dig deep and try and get that cup final at, uh, at Old Trafford. And quite rightly, as you say, when it was 2 all. Yeah, I did, I did. I had a little bit of a go on and please would have happened, but it didn't. Yeah. Did you sense a bit of vulnerability about United at times? I did, yeah, yeah I did. I uh, I thought the um I thought we had them. I did, I honestly thought we had them at two all, I thought they were a little bit rattled. The um they were doing things that, that, that was uncharacteristic. We just needed a moment to fall for us, we just needed a bit of magic, we just needed a bit of quality. Um, but let's be honest, we didn't test the goalie a lot. Um, so I suppose uh, at the end of the day, the better team won. The class shone through of Man United, the Premier League boys, they shone through over, over League Two. So, so give them credit. Um, and at two all, Man United could have easily gone, gone under. And that's, that's a strange thing to say from a League Two manager. Um, Man United could have gone under at, at two all. But yeah, look, it wasn't to be. It wasn't to be. We needed a few more moments. We needed a few more magic moments, and we needed that little bit of uh, little bit of luck, I suppose. And it just didn't happen today. A little bit of luck, man. You know, them little breaks, them little moments. Comes off the post, falls to Anthony. Could have went anywhere. Falls to him. And he was clinical with his finish. And uh, that moment, we just needed that ball to go out, play, go out for a corner, go out for a throw in, fall to one of our players in the box, go somewhere else other than fall on Anthony's feet. And then you you, you, you might have uh, you might have a different scenario. 4-2, um, we're a little bit disappointed with conceding because 3-2 uh, was probably, sums the game up, I probably I, I thought before 4-2, a little bit harsh on our lads at the end, yes we were pushing and yes we wanted to try and peg them back, but that's what happens when you come up against class, that's what happens when you come up against quality. Can you use this as a platform to really push on now, the rest of the season? Yeah, we spoke about that. We spoke about that, Chris. We spoke about that in the change room. Um, I think I've got a great group of lads. I say that every week. Um, they've done the football club themselves and the families immensely proud this week. Um, they represented themselves brilliantly well. And yeah, I, I don't want today to be the end of it. I don't want today to be, oh, well, nearly. I want today to be the, the catalyst and the start of, uh, of, of a little push and try and gather up as many points as we can between now and the end of the season. We've had a real tough time um, at the club, obviously, at the start of the season. And then, obviously, September, October, November with the, the injuries. So we've got them lads coming back from injury now. Uh, we've had two lads on the bench today, Jamo, Kyle Jameson and Ozanzala, who are coming back to fitness. We've a lot of work to do with them. But, yeah, hopefully we can, uh, we can take that 
today, take that performance, take that character, take that resilience, and hopefully we can build upon it. The more than just character that pleased you most, is, you know, you knew that they've got character. character. What, what else pleased you about that? Well, I thought Brim Morris's goal was absolutely brilliant. I thought, as good as Fernandez's strike was in the first half, I thought Brim Morris's uh, goal was, 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 was excellent. Um, we, we played a little bit, would have liked us to play a little bit more. We managed to pitch well, and we managed the occasion well. We went up against class, and we won our tussles, we won our battles, we won our duels. So, uh, yeah, listen, there was, was a lot to be pleased about, a, a lot to be pleased about. Yes, there was a massive gulf in class, I get that, I understand that. But um, really proud of our lads, really proud of them, to be honest, really proud of them. Afterwards. Yeah, yeah, we had uh, a couple of awards afterwards. Yeah, congratulated them. Uh, he congratulated us and, and thanked us for our hospitality and, and, and the club and the, the, the tough times we've had. And I just told him to stick in there and the resilience and the character that we've had to show at this football club. He's having to do the same. And uh, yeah, wished him all the best. He, he gave me a nice little bottle of red wine. Really? Don't tell him I don't drink red wine, please. <laughs> <laughs>